Hey, what up everybody? This is Stevie Breach coming to you here. Uh, we're talking a little bit about Divas Wrestling here on Stevie Breach Channel. Basically, we got a new number one contender for the Divas strap finally. We're not going to have Paige versus AJ for the first time in forever on a pay-per-view. Basically, I never understood why these girls were so good at wrestling, but yet not good at wrestling against each other. Um, but basically, we're going to go in a different direction, not too far off from where we once were. Uh, basically, you can remember by uh, the... Uh, Night of Champions show. Uh, it was uh, Nikki uh, Bella in there with uh, Paige and AJ. Uh, she got added into the match because the authority, uh, mostly Stephanie McMahon, was thankful uh, that she came in there and turned on her sister at SummerSlam. Uh, she wasn't able to pull off the win, but she was involved. It wasn't a good match. It wasn't great, but it was fun. Uh, you know, it, it fit its spot on the card, and, and basically it wasn't terrible. So that's basically all that we asked for. But, um, I wouldn't be surprised if Nikki's going to be able to walk away with the uh, championship here. I don't know if they're going to go uh, with the sort of storyline, basically like uh, Shawn Michaels and uh, JBL were at the last second. You know, Shawn Michaels isn't going to be able to help JBL win the championship. But you know that uh, Nikki's got Brie as her personal assistant thanks to her victory at the um, Hell in the Cell show. She's going to be new, her new personal assistant, and that's going to be involved with you know her being out there and being told uh, to help her uh, win matches. And I don't know if she's going to do like the Bobby Heenan spot with uh, Ultimate Warrior and Rick Rude, where basically Bree's going to hold down AJ's legs to the point where she's not going to be able to kick out and Nikki's going to pin her on top of her. But um, I think that's going to be the biggest factor what's going down. I think when you looked at that Night of Champions card, uh, and, and, that, and that match, basically having a promo with Brie Bella uh, before the match started and having her not get involved in the ring, I think that sort of made everybody sort of scratch their head. Basically, like, you know, everybody thought she was coming out, and she never even came out and got involved in the match. Nikki just lost on her own. Um, of course, Nikki won this shot to become a number one contender by dressing up in the uh, Halloween edition of SmackDown with the uh, Divas... Halloween costume, battle royal, whatever the heck they called it. She came out on top, so she's going to be the new number one contender. I'm happy to see fresh meat in the Divas division. I, I know that we've seen her there before, but uh, it is a match that I think that, that could be good. I think even if you do put it in the death spot, um, you know, going right before the main event, I think if you, if you give it a few minutes, uh, I think we can come out with a surprise victory. I think the last two pay-per-views, we've had two Divas matches. I can't really think of what else could be going down. I don't really think that Paige versus Alicia Fox is going to be on the pay-per-view or even on the pre-show. I think that's something that they're going to work out on Monday Night Raw or even on SmackDown before we finally get there. Paige is going to be all right. We all know that she's going to be the diva of the future and her you know, arch nemesis is going to be AJ, but they can't have you know, 12 pay-per-view matches in a year. You got to, you know, switch some things around. So all around, everything, everything's going to be all right. I wouldn't be surprised. I know last month they, they didn't change the title for the first time in a long time. But uh, I wouldn't be surprised if Nikki walks out of the Survivor Series as the new Divas Champion.